Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Finds TV. My name is Lonnie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday march 6 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break first stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air as if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. <sighs> what a great way to start the week. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey Jasmine, did you notice how pristine this room is? Yeah, the cleaning crew did a great job cleaning. We should definitely thank them after leaving it really messy yesterday. Yeah, we should help keep this room pristine. Great idea. That's a great word to add to my vocabulary. Now let's see what happened in today in history with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Salutations, Patriots. In today's history on March 6, 1924, King Tut's tomb opened. King Tut was the ultimate pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. They found this tomb in the Valley of Kings near Thebes, Egypt. Did you know that King Tut loved hunting ostriches? He would often go hunting after these fast birds. After death, he was mummified. So, when researchers found him, he was very fragile and his body was very old. Wow, I definitely wouldn't want to run into that guy. Now let's check in with Zymel for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's tasty lunch is... Cheeseburger, turkey ham and cheese sandwich, baby carrots, broccoli, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is cinnamon, graham crackers, fresh oranges, 100% apple juice, French toast sticks, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time into always bring a lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Zarmel. I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, let's keep completing those lessons for this quarter's exceptional software challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see the requirements and make sure to have them done by March 26. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum at school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Grade 6 through 8, let's get in the game by going to this awesome event on March 16th. There will be games, sports, and even more awesome activities. Make sure to give $5 to your teacher and get no referrals before the event to secure your spot. The next family night is in 11 days. It's going to be from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be at Off the Wall, so prepare to have fun and check the flyer for some more details. I'm so excited, I'm counting down the days. Students, the page store is open every morning. Tomorrow's 3rd through 4th graders turn to shop. Make sure to look at the schedule to see when it's your time to shop and bring your tickets. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Alexander. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather will be a nice 80 degrees Fahrenheit or partly cloudy skies. Get outside and enjoy the breeze. In other weather news, have you ever seen a funnel cloud? At first glance, you may think it's a tornado. However, they actually don't become tornadoes until they touch the ground. What was cool about this one in particular was the rainbow that emerges from behind it. Because rainbows and funnel clouds both start to form in storms, this sight wasn't a coincidence. What an amazing thing to see. Let's go to Jasmine for the birthdays. Thanks, Alexander. Today's birthday boys and girls are Isabella Solano, Joshua Mitchell, and Armani Roberts. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to mommy. Thank you, Jasmine. Patriots, here are your past expectations. 
It represents, present it so positively, I can it with others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Newton, and Ms. June. You all had the correct answer to Monday's daily challenge, which was, how many apples are on the maple tree? The correct answer was, apples don't grow on maple trees. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What is the name of the biggest tech company in South Korea? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, you're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.